Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. I thought about hey. it for an entire week. Hey, welcome back to the John and Julian podcast. Nice seeing you again. Nice to see you. You look exactly the same as last week. What are you doing? <laughs> This episode is brought to you by NatureBox. Start snacking healthy with NatureBox. NatureBox makes snacks that actually taste great and are better for you, free from artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so you can feel good about snacking. Right now, if you go to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian, you will get 50% off your first order. That's naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian. Also, we have Lyft this week. Ladies, if you want to earn extra money Driving for Lyft, you should do it right now because guess what? If you use our URL, which is lyft.com, which is L Y F T dot com slash Jenna Julian, you will get a five hundred new five hundred dollar new driver bonus. That goes to you and your wallet and your pizza addiction. Just kidding. Everyone has a pizza addiction. Me. Uh, thank you, Lyft. Thank you, Nature Box. Thank you, sponsor. More on that later. All right. So So so, what if we just said so like over and over so, for the entire podcast? So, it's like last podcast when we said, "What if we just had a podcast mainly consisted of me saying I don't and you saying I do?" We did have that conversation last podcast. I don't. I do. I don't. We do so. so what are what? you me? <laughs> so uh, this week we wanted to make a game, and before we start the game, I want to explain where we're coming from. Mm-hmm. Uh, over the weekend, there was huge, crazy, giant news uh, made about Donald Trump uh, basically executing a Muslim ban, uh, which consisted of a number of Muslim countries, um, anyone who had uh, basically a green card living in the U.S. as a citizen and were from those countries, uh, they were background is from those countries, or their background, uh, or they affiliate with being Muslim. There was a, a whole array, uh, millions and millions and millions, like tens of millions, I think over 100 million people fall, fell under the ban. So basically, Trump was trying to make it so uh, they were just, they couldn't get back into the country. So if you were on vacation, and you were coming back. You're a citizen of the U.S. You couldn't back, get back in. And uh, it made crazy news. There were protests at all these airports. And it turns out that the ACLU uh, declared this ban unconstitutional and basically said, no, this won't happen. Um, and it, you know, I wanted to bring it up just to acknowledge this happened. This was crazy news. This whole weekend was kind of crazy watching this happen. There were protests. Um and it's scary stuff. Uh, the the whole you know the whole ban is a scary thought, especially when it's executed and almost carried out into fruition. So we wanted to take this, acknowledge that it's terrible, and acknowledge that um, you know discrimination is is never ever ever okay like that. But we wanted to take the word ban and kind of make a game out of the hey. ban. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to basically turn it into oh, a fun, a fun thing, a fun, a lighter look on the whole thing. Uh, we by no means are trying to take this lightly, but rather acknowledge how serious it is, acknowledge the gravity of it, um, and then, and then, in a way, uh, distract you maybe um, and take yeah, you're it. You're banning citizens from getting back to their homes and families. It's, it's horrible. It's pretty ridiculous. It's horrible. And the United States, it's not It's not the same as like the visa or vetting systems that we have in place. It's diff- You're asking people that are citizens, like, you can't come back. Like, for instance, okay, if this had been an Australian ban and Rome And we traveled we, with we, Rome? We were actually, Rome we're wouldn't going be able out, to come back. Well, we're going out of town on Friday. So if this, we were actually yeah. gone right now and in a world where this was an Australian ban. And he was ban, like, Rome, Australians? Uh-uh, I don't think so. Rome wouldn't be able to get back home like Rome, if it was carried and out. And Rome has a daughter and a family and so a house. And we, we just want, I just want to reiterate again that we, we, we are 1,000% against this ban. We, we stand with every American of every color, religion, race, and everyone has the right to live here. This, this country, the, everything about this country was built on immigrants. And anyone who's going to forget that um, is making a fool of himself. So that's as much politics as it's going to be right now because you know this podcast ain't about politics well yeah and also like you can you can maybe disagree with that statement or what julian just said or or 
what's going on. You can disagree with that. But the point of the, the game is to sort of make light of the fact that our president literally just was like, hey, you know what? Citizens of this descent, you're not welcome here yeah. anymore. Like, yeah. it's it's sort of just a little out of left field, at least, I don't know, just seems... I know that he said that he was going to do things like this, so this is the reality. Yeah. But the game, in and of itself, is to just pretend that we're sort of under, <laughs> we're working for a president making bans on other things. On other things. And we have to choose more ridiculous the, the least of the three evils. Yeah, so basically what we did... Um, so hopefully, if you, even if you disagree with what Julian said, you can still enjoy this game and have and, a good and time. I'm, and I'm not really... You know, I don't view what I as I said as a political position. This is more of just like a human rights position. It's like what I feel about people and things. Uh, with that said, let's and it's carry also on. your podcast, and you're allowed it's, to say whatever you want. Exactly, to. I have a and mic if right here. Wanna, I'm allowed to speak. If you want to disagree, you can. We can talk in the comments, and, and that goes for every week. I mm-hmm. have. I sit here with a voice, and I take that voice very seriously. But at the same time, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not always right, and I always value your input if it's, you know, if it's constructive and whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I appreciate the back and forth. I want you guys to understand that when we're talking about serious things, it may not be uh, a fun thing that we look forward to doing or that we relish on the podcast. But sometimes I do feel it is our duty to at least acknowledge these things and to give you a little bit of our view on what's happening in the world. Um, like I said, this is not a political podcast. We really do generally stay away from politics, but it, I do, you know, sometimes I just feel the need to just be honest with you guys. Because you know what makes everything better sometimes when shit gets weird? Humor. Laugh! <laughs> no, I'm serious. It really does help. Yes, yeah, so we were, we were going to laugh now, and, and you guys can join us in laughing. So what we did was we took this cup, and we smashed it on the ground. Just kidding. No, we took uh, you do we that? took 32, 32, 32, 32 different little pieces of paper, and we wrote things on them that would, in this game, be banned. So <laughs> if you've ever done anything on these notes, you'd you be, would be, you'd banned. be banned. So what we're going to do is we're going to take three out at a time, and we're going to decide what's the thing that we would like to live with as a banned uh, offense the most in a, in a country. So we're, we work for some fictitious president who's trying to ban all this stuff and we get to choose one of each three. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to come in and be like, all right, here's my three things I'm thinking about, uh, about doing. Which one should we go for first? And, and we have and to, we have to pick the, the least of the three yeah, evils. Yeah. And they're all terrible and ridiculous. They're not great. Uh, but let's, let's just get in there. Are you ready? I'm ready to laugh, baby. I'll draw two. You draw one. Fine. Are you ready for this? She. Oh, by the way, if if half the podcast is this, it's because Jenna insists like, on folding it fifty thousand times. I like times. folding them little. All right. The first law we're presented with is if you take a selfie in public, <laughs> okay, you ban it. Okay. You tell the second one. law is if bath salts are on your maybe list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the third, and the third is law. if you can't deadlift a hundred pounds. Okay, I I am already favoring that one. <laughs> Okay. You're going to ban everyone that takes a selfie in public? No, no, no. I'm favoring this one. I, I want... To get rid of or to keep? No, I want this one to be the rule. I want anyone who can't deadlift 100 pounds to be... What is wrong with you? We're supposed to pick, like, the least problematic one. Wait, that's problematic? Think about all the people in the United States that can't deadlift 100 pounds. I don't hang around those people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's all elderly people, basically. All disabled people. <laughs> Um, or, all babies. <laughs> or a lot of people even our oh age who don't God. have the, the grip strength. Oh yeah. my God. Babies. Babies. You're gone. Let's see the deadlift. We, the baby no, you falls can't over. have this. That's ridiculous. I, I'm not ready to give this up. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I think bath salts are on your baby list. Anyone can do whatever drug they want, period, all the time in public, <laughs> in professional settings. That's my law. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, uh. Taking a selfie in public. We can we can take selfies. Let's leave that. Let's and I that. think that this like if the the least of the three that's the worst like bath salts is on your maybe list. I, there's no way. This is how I know this is a better law than the other two. This is like all speculation. Yeah. So like maybe it would be harder to actually get rid of people because yeah. you can't prove that it's on their maybe list. But yeah, but. that's true. To be fair, if someone couldn't deadlift a hundred pounds of weight, they could pick up. 100 British pounds off the ground and bypass the law. That's true. If they're smart. But babies probably wouldn't think of that. Julian, you know we can't have that. 
We can't. You know we can't have if you can't deadlift 100 pounds. I don't know anything. All children would be gone. I don't know anything. All children. Fine, fine. <laughs> I guess it's right. Ladies and gentlemen, the new law in the United States is if bath salts are on your maybe list, <laughs> you banned. <laughs> and get out. <laughs> You're not welcome here. You banned. <laughs> uh, so if, if you do bath salts and you like it, that's fine. Just don't have it on your maybe list. Right, yeah, it doesn't say anything about Just be decisive if you've about done, the bath salts. If you've done bath salts yeah, no. or currently do bath like, salts. Like, don't consider them. Do it or don't do it. <laughs> all right, so this is on the, So are we going to read all the band lists at the end? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Next oh, one, baby. Boy. I picked two this time. Okay. What do you got? Uh, don't do that. Don't. Come on. No, this is ASMR. They like Otter. it. Come on, Ot. Uh. That doesn't sound peaceful to you? All right. If you've ever gotten gay divorce. <laughs> You're banned. You're banned. People with any belly buttons oh, are banned. Oh, no. And you're banned if your Wi-Fi password is a pun. Oh, no. I personally want this one. If anyone's going to make their Wi-Fi password a pun, you're putting a dad joke out into the universe where it wasn't asked. <laughs> Should I turn that off? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. Like, you can't, no, you can't ban people because they got divorced. Well, you could punish them by death in the last game we played, remember? That's true. Presidential roulette. Presidential roulette. People with any belly buttons. That means I'm out of here. I have any, any be- belly button. Any of these could be someone who could you just You should have be... written Audi belly buttons. No. Those are the ones we need to get out. Just kidding. Wow. There you go. This yeah. ha- the, it's, if your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi it's password by is by far the, the least bad. Also, it's Guys, a, ladies and gentlemen of the United States, if your Wi-Fi password is a pun, you're banned. You're gone. Get out. I'm so sorry. Detained at the airport. Get out. Can't come back. You got one? No. Julian. What? Julian. Fine. Go ahead. What do you got? If you don't vape, (laughs) you could be banned. (laughs) Oh, okay. Here, open this one. All right. Not into the mic. All right. All right. So if you don't vape, you would get banned. You, I mean, there's a large population of people that don't vape. All right. What's yours? Mine is if your brother <laughs> is a pussy ass bitch, <laughs> you get banned. All right. And then the last one is if you ain't eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> these are uh, really eloquent. Um, I personally think, I personally think, if your brother's a pussy ass bitch, a lot of that falls on you. Like it is a little bit your fault. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind banning brothers of pussy ass bitches. We can't ban if you don't vape. That's like a lot of people. You can't do that. It's a lot of vapes you have to manufacture. It's probably bad for the economy. Let's get rid of that it's one. It's bad. All right. All right. So we're if you left with if you ain't eat ass. <laughs> and if Honestly, your brother is a pussy ass. I think bitch. this. I think this is a bannable offense. If you ain't eat ass, that's you're so banned ridiculous. From the country. What like what if somebody doesn't want to eat ass? They're banned. Doesn't matter if they want to. If they ain't eat ass. I think this is more realistic. If your brother is a pussy ass bitch, you're banned. So it's so subjective. Fine. You can make good arguments. I still want to keep this card. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America, if your brother is a pussy ass bitch, you banned. <laughs> and you can't come back. Da, 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 Gary Johnson. I'm keeping the uh, if you, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's the presidential roulette podcast. If you guys all right, if you want this card. Just tweet at me. I'll mail it to you. If you ain't eat ass. If you ain't eat ass. You got one or two. Two. All like, right. Moving on, Think baby. of all the people that are just like in a hospital. Like, I can't eat ass right now. If someone's out on your face, you can eat ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. This right. is like weird. If you won't derelict these balls when commanded. <laughs> nice. You banned. All right. Uh, if you've ever... Posted on Facebook about CrossFit. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of people. Um, if you clickbait on the reg, <laughs> you banned. Yes. Okay. Okay. So here, here's my reasoning. We okay. have to get rid of if you won't derelict these balls okay, on command. For this, for this, I'm, I personally think as much as it's frustrating and annoying as an outsider of CrossFit to see people post nonstop about CrossFit on Facebook, 
It's just a hobby. It's it not going to hurt anyone. And it's Clickbaiting good. kills. <laughs> on Do the not reg. clickbait on the on reg. On the reg. If you clickbait on the reg, you will be banned from the country. I personally think that one stays. I agree. Da, 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 da. Ladies and gentlemen <laughs> of the United States of America, if you clickbait on the reg, you will be banned from this country. Actually, <laughs> it's so fucked up. Actually, this one should be implemented IRL. Okay. No, you wouldn't get banned. Maybe maybe you your channel banned. gets in trouble. You banned. You can't click me on the reg. <coughs> on the reg, though. On the reg, okay. All right, all right. Can you imagine, though, if that was a real law? Like there was clickbait court? You clickbaited and it was like, on the it reg. It was like, I declare this Delete. title has been clickbait. You will be gone. <laughs> You're banished but to click, Siberia. Clickbait court. Fuck, that's a good idea. Clickbait court. Uh, LLC. Copyright. Trademark. You can't use that. I just I just trademarked it. <laughs> if you unironically wear Crocs. <laughs> You're gone. I'm gone. You're I'm out of here. Like, I'm banned. You and your Crocs can get out. I am banned. Fuck, I really wish I just didn't say clickbait court on the podcast. That's a good idea. I want to do that now. Clickbait court. Da, da. These are the stories. <laughs> um, if you ever lit a fart on fire. Ever. You're banned. You're banned. And if you have a problem with mammals, <laughs> get out. <laughs> All right. What's what's the least bad of these three? If you have a problem with mammals, who's going to have a problem with, with mammals? mammals? Just IRL in general. Yeah. Because uh, cro- people can wear Crocs, shouldn't have to be able to ban them just because they like comfortable footwear. And if you have lit a fart on fire, good for you. Good for you. It, ladies and gentlemen, in the United States, if <laughs> you have a problem <laughs> with mammals, <laughs> the government is going to kick you out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep. Mm-hmm. Don't have problems with mammals. 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 Merry Christmas. Speak, speak, speak. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What do you got? All right. If you don't sit on Santa's lap at the mall right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have, if you use the word tchotchkes. <laughs> tchotchkes. All right. If you clap when a plane lands. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, don't I, clap when planes land. That's mine. I feel like if you don't sit at, sit on Santa's lap at the mall, that's your choice. That's you. You can't enforce that. That's too much. Well, yes, you can because it's Santa. <sighs> and if your kids, Mr. President, kids it's dumb, ridiculous, though. I'm not the president. We're both the cabinet people, or whatever. <laughs> We're like inside the cabin. We're in the cabin. Okay, here we go. Hey. Yeah. What are you doing for lunch later? Um, I'm having some nature box. <gasps> which you guys should Julian, do you did not. Because right now you can get nature you box. You did not. Boy, if you off. don't. Then you go to naturebox.com slash Oh my God. My favorite snacks are the corn basic crisps and the dark chocolate almonds. Those are really good. Cranberry almond bites are also pretty ridiculous. Delicious snacks, guys, delivered right to your door. That's what Nature Box is. I'm gonna stop whispering now. Thank you. Uh, you Jeez. can order as much as you want, as often as you want, with no minimum purchase, and you can cancel any time. It's really convenient. You choose the snacks you want from the catalog, and you get them delivered to your door. You go to NatureBox.com, check out their snack catalog. Or I like to call it the snackalog. Uh, and there's over a hundred snacks for you to choose from. And they add snacks, new snacks, all the time based on customer feedback, which is awesome. So if you think, hey, this is a really great snack and this is a really great snack, but what if you fuse them mm. and you like, hey, Nature Box, fuse them? They're going to be like, okay, you're high, but that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, but for real, Nature Box has uh, an array of great tasting snacks with no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so you can feel great about snacking and not guilty. Uh, with Nature Box, you'll never get bored. You try new snacks each month, inspired by, like I said, real customer feedback. And if you try a snack that you don't like, Nature Box will replace it for free, which is awesome. Right now, you guys get 50% off your first order when you go to naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian. That's naturebox.com slash Jenna Julian. And if you need to go somewhere after you stuff your face with snacks, try Lyft. 
especially ladies. Right now, Lyft is looking for female ladies. drivers. And if you join now with our URL, you get an extra $500 driver bonus. Lyft is the ride-sharing app that lets you be your own boss. Pick your own hours. Earn up to 1500 bucks a week just driving your car. Uh, are you someone that loves people? Or are you someone that works and would like to make money on the side? Or are you someone that has odd hours and you can't get a normal 9-to-5 job? Well, you can sign up and be a driver for Lyft at lyft.com slash Jenna Julian and get a $500 driver bonus. Uh, you can make up to $35 an hour. You can drive mornings, nights, weekends, or if you have a few hours spared in your day randomly, you turn on driver mode and you go pick some people up and make some cash. Uh, also, there are other ride-sharing apps out there. We know a lot about them, but Lyft is the best because they treat their drivers right and only Lyft drivers earn their tips from within the app so you don't have to wait weeks to get paid. So you get tipped, you don't have to wait a while to get paid, you cash out instantly with Express Pay, and you make your own hours, guys. It's your own car. It's a great way to earn some money. So right now, go to right Lyft.com. That's L-Y-F-T dot com slash Jenna Julian and start making money and get your $500 new driver bonus with Lyft. Thank, Thank you. you, sponsors. That was like a team segue, I gotta say. It was. I we, didn't know you were gonna do that, though. I was, I was playing you the segue. You tricked me, Julie. You tricked me into that playing. fire segue, All boy. Right. All right, back I, to our decision yes, here. Okay, so. If you use the word tchotchkes, if you don't sit on Santa's lap at the mall right now, <laughs> uh, or if you clap when a plane lifts. The Santa's lap thing, that's getting a little religious. Let's get that one out of here. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, here's here's my logic, okay? If you use the word tchotchkes, and if you clap when a plane lands, my thing is, that's the same person. One guy does both those things, right? <laughs> if you do one, you do both those things. I don't know. It depends if Chachi's... Which is like... Which is the lesser of two evils here? Like, you have to choose somebody to ban. I feel... I personally feel victimized when someone says Chachi's to me. But at the same time, I'm ready to, like, get off the plane, and I don't want anyone clapping. Why are you so excited? Uh, what do you think? Someone's twisting your arm, and you have to pick. Twist it. I need some simulation in real life. Ah, tchotchkes. <laughs> All right. Welcome to America, <laughs> where if you say the word tchotchkes, <laughs> you <bet. laughs> I like how the scream gets louder and louder. All right. Oh. Moving on, baby. Hey, baby. You whoop some Oh, my God. All right. What do you got? If your initials are F-U. Frank Underwood? Frank Underwood. All right. If you pull your pants all the way down and shirt all the way up <laughs> at a standing urinal. <laughs> like Butters. Like Butters in South Park. Uh, I should add, um, if you're over 15. Yeah. Okay. If you have... 14-year-olds, uh, you only got a year more of that fun. If you have non-human colored hair. Ooh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked, too. Well, I guess blonde is human. We're both yeah, human colored we're right both now. Human, but at I mean, the moment. Had, yeah, at the ADM. moment. We can't do this. We have to ban so many people. That's just wrong. I just think it's it's a uh, it violates people around you if you pull your pants all the way down to stand up urinal. Well, I mean, we can't just kick out all be, the people whose initials are F U. Actually, that'd probably be easier to logistically do. But that's why we should pick this one because it's harder to fucking harder pull off. Harder to pull off. We are here to make our boss's job difficult. Because he's making bullshit laws. Welcome to America, where if you pull your pants all the way down and your shirt all the way up in a standing <laughs> urinal, you pay it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the loudest podcast ever <laughs> of any podcast. <laughs> I don't want to open it. Uh, All right, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, if you pass, if all right, sorry, if past the age of eleven, you've ever pinched another human being on St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> you're banned. If you've ever owned a fat head. Okay, for those who don't know what a fathead is, it's a life-size poster, often of professional athletes and celebrities, that you can glue onto your wall as a child or a weird adult. Actually, not weird. I'm not going to judge weird. you. If you want a fathead, get a fathead. I have like Some three fatheads. Some of them look cool. I have a, a Guy Fieri fathead in the kitchen. Guy Fieri. This is, the last one is, if you have more than three children, the whole family is banned. <laughs> Okay, that's Get fucked. That out that's of here. fucked. I don't know who wrote that. It looks like your handwriting, though. 
Um, if you've ever owned a fat head, I mean, here's the thing about that. How in the fuck are you going to figure out who's ever owned a fat head? It's the same as if past the age of 11, you've ever pinched someone on St. Patrick's Day. It's the fat, same. But fat head. This is easier, though. If you've ever pinched someone, it's easier to not so, track. Like, they could track how you... mean you, it's harder to track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they could track how if you bought anything. No, you know what I mean? No, they couldn't. Because fat heads were... They were just so a phase. So come on, no. If you if someone pinches I bought, you, I bought all my fat heads in cash, so there's no tracing that. Yeah, but if, <laughs> if you pinch <laughs> if you pinch someone on St. Patrick's Day, it requires a rat. Like someone has to rat you out. Oh, that that brings out the rats. Right. I like this one. Wait, you you saying that's a good thing? Yes. What's wrong with you? Bring out the rats. No. All right. So we're doing all the of fat these head laws head? are ridiculous. We're just trying to figure out which one's the least like bad. I think this is the least bad. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I like that. Brings out the rats. All right. In America, <laughs> if past the age of eleven, <laughs> you've ever pinched another human being on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Welcome to America. Here, I got. Oh, oh shit! We got two more or three more. Three more. Three more debit. debit. All right. All right, you first. If your pussy ain't for grabbing, you bent. If your nail polish color bores me a little bit, <laughs> you're banned. <laughs> and if you don't think Ron and Sam are better love story than The Notebook, then you're banned. Your tears don't mean dick to me. We can't have this. If your pussy ain't for grab, we can't have this. No, get that out. Again, another another terrible one. I don't like that one. See, the nail polish one, I think I just, this is, it's me as fuck. Like when someone's nail polish doesn't bother me, but it bores me just a little bit. That is like offensive. I don't like that. <laughs> well, I mean, what like, if, what went through I'm your, not sure what that went I, through your thought process that you picked that color? I know that they had more colors there. <laughs> I'm not sure that Ron and Sam are a better love story than The Notebook. So, what's The Notebook? Wow, Julian. <laughs> I said that to you one time and I was serious. Your tears don't mean shit to me. Your tears don't mean dick to me. I hope you know that. Which one? Which one's the law in the United States? Ron and Sam or if your nail polish bores me? Dun, 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 Wait, are you dun, serious? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. apparently if you don't think that Ron and Sam are a better love story than The Notebook... Then you can get out! You bend! Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're building a great, fictitious country this right now. This is a great country. What a great country. What a great country. All right. If you have glasses or contacts, you oh, are banned no. from this country. All right. If you've ever washed your hair with body wash, you banned. Well, I banned them. All right. Here. And this is between those two. And if you don't call Tim Gunn, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think everyone should call Tim Gunn daddy, even his dad. All right. I'm down with it. There if you, you don't call Tim Gunn daddy, you are banned you from banned. the United States of America. You gotta get banned. If you ever refer to him as Tim, Gu Tim Gunn, not daddy, you banned. Or if you say the sentence ever in your life, who's Tim Gunn? You're banned. That's just an add-on. It's a, it's an amendment to this law. <laughs> All right. So the final law we are debating between two things. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right. There you go. If you have used the phrase "it's biodegradable" as an excuse for littering, <laughs> you're banned. <laughs> If you use your Bluetooth headset loudly in public to make phone Ooh, calls. These are both rough. These are like the same person. Mm hmm Which one? Well, you I banned. mean, I personally think when people like litter and they're like, oh, it's the biodegradable. Like, I feel like it's a shitty thing to do. But this is like a conscious shitty choice that everyone, that you make every day. <sighs> Babe, but the point of the game is that we have to just figure out which is the less bad. Which is less? Which would you be able to enforce in a law? Which would? Because someone's presenting you these to you, not Bluetooth, just like Bluetooth. which you one annoys them all down you more with a, with a computer and and then a sensor, and every Bluetooth just immediately extradites those people. Okay, there you go. 
All right. All right. Welcome, Welcome to our to country. Welcome to our country where you read, you read some and I'll read some. All right. If bath salts are on your maybe list. Let's, say, let's just say you're banned at the way end. So if you have bath salts on your maybe list, if past the age of 11 you've ever pinched another human being on St. Patrick's Day. If your Wi-Fi password is a pun. If you don't think Ron and Sam are a better love story than The Notebook. If you clickbait on the reg. If you have a problem with mammals. If your brother is a pussy-ass bitch. If you don't call Tim Gunn daddy. If you use the word tchotchkes. If you use Bluetooth headset loudly in public to make phone calls. You are banned! Also, <laughs> if you if ain't you eat ass. ass. That's if honorable mention. <laughs> We're going to revisit this law in a year and potentially enforce it. Oh, so, that's really funny. Don't be ain't eating ass. If assin. you ain't eat ass. <laughs> Yo, our country's so dope. You said the word tchotchkes by saying you can't use tchotchkes. So I'm banned. I also am banned from half those things. I've yeah, used I'm I've used body wash. My brother my is a pussy ass bitch. I'm out of here. I'm banned. That's <laughs> fucked up. I'm telling <laughs> so him you said kidding. that. Um, <laughs> what? You remember when Bluetooth headsets, like you, the little ones, you looked at those and you're like, damn, that's kind of tight. And yeah. now it's like the fucking dumbest thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway. I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. I I know we did. I like. I'm glad we were able to have some fun this week. I think it was necessary for us to do a, a little something. Yeah, fun we this need week. some fun. We need some fun this week. So um, it's fun to play a game with you. It's fun to and, play a game with you and write out silly things and laugh. Aww. If you ain't need ass. If you ain't need ass, then you ain't eat in my country. Mm, utopia. What? See you guys next week on the Jen and Julia podcast. Utopia. Oh, utopia. Let's make a brand new start. You remember the show Utopia? It was my favorite show, and then it got canceled. Okay, what she's saying in translated English is there was a show called Utopia. <laughs> it was a terrible show. We loved watching it. It was so bad. It was canceled after like an episode, and I we miss it. it. This is Utopia. She's singing the theme song from said show. She's continuing the theme song. (laughs) She's now just crying. (laughs) You ain't eat ass. You ain't eat ass. You ain't a dink fam. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, dink fam.